you know, I compliment Coach McDermott and the Buffalo Bills for for victory in a hard fought game. Um, you know, I appreciate the efforts of our guys in there. I just told them that, um, but efforts don't get it done. Um, so let's talk tangibly about why we weren't successful. Um, you know, we spotted them early um, in the football game uh, via the turnovers. Can't come into an environment like this versus a playoff caliber team and and turn the ball over like that and and um, and expect to be competitive, man. We spotted them. Uh, we fought back in it um, over the course of the the game. Uh, we cut it to seven um, and was excited about that. Um, then we gave up a touchdown drive. When you get a major penalty within a drive on defense, that's usually going to produce points, um, and that was the case. Um, and it put them back up by 14, and and the rest is academic. And so. Um, I'm appreciative of the efforts, um, but it's not mystical. Uh, we didn't do what was required to win tonight. We didn't take care of the ball. We didn't get it, get the ball from them enough in an environment like this, and thus uh, the score. Had a couple of injuries. Joey Porter, Allen Robinson are in the concussion protocol. Uh, Pat Frymuth had an ankle, um, had limited availability there toward the end of the game. Questions? Mike, that second turnover again, Josh goes 52 yards on that scramble. And that, that one was really hurtful. No question. Uh, but we talked about quarterback mobility and what he and they are capable of. Um, it probably not the story of the game was the mobility, but the turnover component, you know. Um, Got to do better. Mike, what kept you from getting a consistent ground game offensively? Um, their efforts. Um, they did a really good job of packing the line of scrimmage and, um, you know, forcing us to throw the ball more vertically, probably a little bit more vertically than we wanted to. We adjusted. We started doing that, and we started moving the football. Um, so credit to them. Like what, did they do something different with their tight ends, or did what you had planned just not work the way you looked? You know, we've had our issues with tight end matchups over the second half of the year. Um, we adjusted in game, uh, but they made some plays definitively early on. How much did you feel the loss of not having T.J. Watt out there? You know, I didn't think about it, to be quite honest with you. We knew all week he wasn't playing, and so we prepared with that mindset. And so I didn't waste any time thinking about what, what wasn't at our disposal. Uh, we had too much at our disposal and too many decisions and considerations to be made to waste time like that. How do you think Mason did after throwing that interception? I thought he was solid. I thought he was competitive. I thought his confidence was unshakable. I thought he, you know, displayed the things that he displayed really for the last month or so.